Stephen and Carla here and you are joining us on the Coach Built Stand at the 2022 Camping, Caravanning and Motorhome Show. It's been a sellout event this year and we thought we'd just take the opportunity to show you around what they've got on display this time because actually it's two of the most fantastic adaptions we've ever seen and both actually um, would really suit Carla and I whenever we come to change our caravan. So, uh, we're going to wait for a quiet moment and then we're going to be joined by Managing Director Kate who's going to show us around a little bit better than what I could. So hello Kate, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and we're inside this Swift Sprite, I think? It's a Swift Sprite Super, um, and it's the Major 4 uh, model. So it's an eight foot wide. Okay, yeah. and we can see Carla um, enjoying the space, because we, yeah, we're eight foot wide, and you're enjoying that L-shaped lounge space there. Um, and actually when Carla and I first came in here, we didn't realize that it wasn't an L-shaped lounge originally, and you've made it an yeah. L-shaped lounge. Well, for us it kind of, provides a really good turning circle naturally. It's really comfortable for and, and sociable as well for everybody to kind of sit around. A uh, freestanding table can sit in the middle of here as well. So it uh -huh. kind of just gives that nice lounge vibe. Yeah, so show us around. We've got the um, we've got the wide aperture door with the wheelchair ramps. Yep. Um, and I believe under there there's a um, there's a winch as yeah, well just so to we've, help. We've got a winch in here as well. So that just helps um, Especially if the ramps are in an awning, it just means that we've got a powered access into the up the ramps. It's nice and safe. Um, they kind of clip onto the front of the chair, and then remote control will will kind of pull the chair up. Especially, it's great, Carla. You can go up that ramp nice and easy in your power chair. If you've got a manual chair, it just takes the stress and strain out of getting up the, the ramp. I bet. Yeah, I bet it's yeah. quite difficult to push. So, um, so on the offside here, we've got a kitchen. Is that is that as it was out the factory? It, it is as it, as it was. We can lower it, um, which is always a, it can often be a good request. But in some occasions, it's just easier and it's more cost effective to keep it as it is. And it depends on the layout of the the rest of the caravan as to whether it is accessible for the person that we're actually building it for. In this instance, it is perfect. It's yeah. As it is. yeah, fantastic. So going back, and this is what really actually Carla and I like is this rear. Um, washroom and bedroom set up so it works, shall we it? go through and have yeah, a look definitely so originally this layout had a um, an island bed that came across the side and um, so the first thing we do is, is take that out and it creates this just amazing space that we can design from and um, so we love these beds it's a single bed that will slide out and um, just by nicely pulling it here into a double bed and there's a mattress on the back that will, will fall down into it to make it into a double and um, great thing about that is we can build it to the right transferable height we can get ceiling track hoists that go over and um, but it's this i know and this is what staggered us was the fact that you know carla has two areas to turn around she can turn around in the l-shaped lounge and also come right back here and i think she'd probably quite like that just to get away from me for a little bit <laughs> <laughs> but the other the other nice thing as well is we've got a lot of space so we can impact on better storage so we designed a, a, a corner wardrobe which works so um it just kind of makes the space and fills this wall makes it usable but gives us a bit more storage which is great still yeah. get storage under the bed as well so we've helpful. got so at the back i can see we've got a we've got a sort of a wet room set up there yeah so the wet room's transverse on this one and it is actually a really good footprint even straight from factory with swift so good so that we've actually still kept the um standard shower cubicle we can take that out but in this instance having the wider door and the toilet in the right location just means that we can come in level access transfer onto the toilet got grab bars in the right place to make sure that the transferring is nice and easy and then we can close ourselves in and we've got a nice private wet room that's not a full feature of the caravan yeah yeah it's fantastic and um, we've been talking to Kate about maybe the next design for our caravan and um, this is I think the closest thing we've ever seen to actually what we might have yeah um, so it's been brilliant for us to see um, right shall we go and dive into the motor motorcoat and have a look around that yeah let's do it Okay, so we found ourselves in this Swift Edge motorhome, um, and the first thing that actually really stood out to Carla and I but was sort of the wheelchair position up front, I think. Yes. Um, and I think, especially for us as an interabled couple, uh, we'd absolutely love that on, the, on a motorhome. Um, 
So you, you, I can see you've got the wheelchair restraints there? Yeah, exactly. So it's an in, in cab restraint system. So, yeah, for, for the exact reason that, hey, you're travelling together, you want to sit together, you can tell him where he's going wrong, which direction he needs to be in. And all <laughs> Business that kind of is stuff. usual then, isn't it, Carla? <laughs> <laughs> Me going the wrong direction and Carla pointing out the point that I went wrong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. At least you can see it all up front. So, so yeah, that's a really big feature. Um, it, it can happen with, uh, we can do it in both passenger and driver position we can also do it so this chair is interchangeable yeah. so um, if you were um, both drivers you've got that opportunity to kind of share the long ride which is quite nice so you can fit the hand controls for, for a wheelchair yeah. driver as well yeah so pushable hand controls all the steering wheel bo um, ball and everything else that you'd naturally need for, for driving yeah. yeah all of that can and go there's, in. there's something about this high ceiling here which is really um, creating such a massive amount of space and it feels so light and airy it does and and, and for, for this one when we built it it actually came from factory with a double bed which obviously you can still keep in um, but um, when we built this one it did give that extra light we didn't need the bed so extra storage which is always really important um, it, and it just gives that nice big kind of vista view and also if you've got somebody who's quite tall or, or, or sitting quite high in the chair it meant that the bed wasn't kind of oppressive when we were traveling in the cab I so see. it kind yeah. of worked in, in many ways yeah that's yeah. handy then yeah um, so am I right in thinking and this is where my la lack of knowledge might come into it but was this massive wardrobe here the original location of the shower room yeah yeah so the nice thing about this particular layout again it came with a um, an island bed at the back um, so take the island bed out and it creates that lovely space very similar to the caravan that we've, we've shown at the show as well. Um, pick up the wet room and create, or, or, or pick up the wet room and move it to the back which we'll show you shortly. But you say that like it's so easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well it, it, some, in some ways it, it's easier than doing a lot of other things to create like big big spaces. So yeah. to, to, to kind of move the uh, wet room to the back and create that big wardrobe space is just ideal because it not only do we get a really nice big wardrobe space in lieu of the shower room we get this really lovely um big access through the the, the motorhome to the back so that, that yeah. really helps so right above your head we've got this ceiling track hoist that i can see yes um and i believe the hoist slightly further back so we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment yeah. but we can see here that it does go right throughout the motorhome um, and I bet that's really handy for wheelchair transfers and stuff like that. It just takes the pressure out of uh, transferring and, and, and everything else that comes with, 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 with needing a hoist. It just automates wherever you want to go. Uh, uh -huh. Makes it nice and easy. Yeah. yeah. So, right, we've got the kitchen on the near side of this one. Yeah. And again, is this as it was factory? As it was factory, yeah. So, again, we didn't need to touch it. So, um, we didn't. Um, but we can. So um, and and it's a good it, it's a good kitchen to allow to be lowered just because we've got the um, the duplex uh, cooker and hob so that kind of allows us to get that quite low because we just remove one of these drawers if we ever needed to. Yeah. Um, microwave can be moved lower, which is always good as well. Yes, I um, know some people can't quite reach when they're above the hob like that. Yeah. Um, so I bet that's quite handy. Yeah. So we do get a lot of requests for that, and I think it's 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 a good it's a good thing to do. You create a cupboard up here so it looks intended, and then move the the um, microwave elsewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now this is intriguing back here. So now we can see the hoist up there, mm -hmm. um, and that obviously comes right through from the front. Um, and it looks like it goes over the bed and also over the wet room area. Yeah, so this has got a, um, a turntable on it, so as it beeps, it turns, which will allow the transfer to go over to the bed and then also over onto the, the shower table as well. Okay, yeah. so should we start off with this bedroom? And I believe you've come up with a really ingenious way of actually making this a double bed. Yeah, now this is a, we've got, with the bed, the bed's a profiling and height adjustable bed. So if you imagine it has all the motors and all the drives underneath it, what we commonly do when we need to make a double bed is we have a, um, a side that will pull out with the slats. We can't do that when we have profiling and height adjustment in the bed, in the single bed. So we have a, um, I call it like a New York loft style bed. So I call it, it will... Thunderbird style. Exactly, we'll go with it. So um, yeah, so that will pull out and this is actually the bed base that creates into a double. Okay. The large wardrobe hands itself nicely to store the, the mattress that will be able to fill in, the, in this space. And then it just creates a nice double double bed nice and easily. Yeah, and I might just point out that when that is down, and we, we had it down a bit earlier, um, it's absolutely rock solid. It's a, it's a brilliant design there. Yeah. Um, so, right, over on the uh, on the off side, um, there's this sort of, so the wet room floor sort of extends halfway out to the bedroom area as well. Mm -hmm. um, so actually with a um, with a shower curtain, it's enormous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and the way we do shower curtains, we have them so they are tight, not loose. So if you did get wet or whoever was, uh, 
working in here got wet, the shower curtain's not going to cling to you and love you. It will stay tight and rigid and protect the furniture as it needs yeah. to. And also you can take it out after your holiday and wash it. Yeah, that's handy. Yeah. Okay, so, and actually this is one of the things that um, Carla and I would really need in our next caravan design is a fold down uh, shower table. Yes. So wall mounted, um, it is a case of, it's got a cot side on it. Um, it travels really well, but it's a case of pull up the cot side, pull down the shower table, and um, you've got the legs that come down so it self supports and um, and yeah hoist straight on nice and easy okay and the caravan as well, or motorhome is watching this might look at that toilet down there and think that actually that's is that is that the normal height for that um that push button flush um no a lot lower okay i was gonna say i've never seen one that low before no that's us we've um, we've adapted that to suit so you've done that yourself yes okay so is it is it still got the flush tank in there or is it off? With off motorhomes the, yeah. they feed from the fresh water tank. Oh okay. So we can get it up from the fresh water tank. Um, so all that is literally doing is housing the housing the, the flush control. Okay. And there's nothing else in there. So that just saves having to fill up the flush tank, I suppose. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so it feeds straight from the fresh water tank on board and, and it's nice and easy to do. Brilliant, okay. Alright, and uh, so we'll we'll see what Carla thinks. What do you reckon, Carla? It's nice, you love it, do you? Yeah, no, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so, okay, Kate, thank you so much for showing us around. Thanks a lot. Cheers. So that was the coach pool stand right here at the Camping, Caravanning and Motorhome Show for 2022. We hope you enjoyed looking around that caravan and motorhome. Uh, we absolutely love what they had on display this year. If you do want to find out more information about Coachbuilt, you can reach them on their website, which is coachbuiltgp.co.uk. Um, and feel free to stay in touch with us as well, because um, we're more than happy to talk to people, or send you in the right direction perhaps as well. Um, you can reach us on our website at coachwheels.co.uk um, and feel free to join our mailing list as well. Quite often we actually um, send out little snippets of behind the scenes stuff that don't actually make it to social media and it's a really nice place to be able to do that. So as I say, we hope you enjoyed this and uh, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.